way you can hear me. I'm trying to talk loud for the first 30 seconds. I hate this whole microphone thing. It's, oh, it's driving me crazy. That's an iPhone for you, I guess. Or maybe it's just mine. I don't know. Anywho, um, I know, another video today. But you know what? I'm suffering through rainstorms right now. Like, I think this is our fifth or sixth straight day of rain on and off all day long. And when it's not drizzly or sprinkling, it's thunderstorms. So I'm having to run outside and get my gardening done like as fast as I can. So I came around the bend here and started weeding. And um, lo and behold, look who came back. And this is her third year. Yeah, you know what this is, right? Okay, if you were somebody like my husband, you'd be like, oh, it's just a dandelion. It looks a lot like a dandelion, doesn't it? No, that's a dandelion. Dent the lion, tooth of the lion. This is the Wizard of Oz lion. <laughs> this is a poppy. Poppies will make you sleep. I planted poppies here three years ago. Uh, they're California red poppies and they just keep reseeding themselves and coming back. It must be in a good spot. It's sort of a sheltered spot right here. <clears throat> anyway, what this video is about is the babies. So you see how she's got like this little baby underneath there, this little seedling? Well, I want to transplant this and take it to the Ozarks with me. So I thought I'd give you a real quick tip of what I do when I find little seedlings like that I want to transplant. I dig my seedlings up with a spoon. That's a very fancy gardening tool. Yeah, you can find them anywhere. <laughs> doesn't have to be a gardening shop. <clears throat> little pots. Doesn't have to be fancy potting soil. I just buy the cheapest. Fill these little pots and then I go way down. I just keep going down and down and down and start way out. And I just keep gently tugging till I don't feel it pulling anymore. You know, like when you were seven years old and you're losing your teeth, <laughs> you could just tell when that tooth was ready to let go. That's how I feel. I, I can't do this with gloves on because I have to feel. I have to make sure I get that whole root and I just keep gently working. I work the spoon and my fingers at the same time until there's no more resistance. And then it slips out of the ground. <clears throat> and then I have a pot ready I do actually like doing this on rainy days. It's just, I don't have to battle the sun. And I got lots and lots of access to free and clear rainwater. So I pre-moisten my soils like this, and I just make a big hole in it, like a gigantic hole, big enough to hold that whole root system. And then I'll, I can't show you because I'm holding my phone, my tripod somewhere else. but. Once I pull this up and scoop all that up out of there and set it in the hole that I've made, set it down in the hole, and then press the dirt back in, I will leave this pot setting like right where she grew, like right here for two days. And the reason why I do that is, and I have like 99.999% success, but I do that because I don't want to change the baby's environment too much. Like the roots are already going to be shocky, right? Because I've just pulled it up out of the ground. So the roots are going to have to deal with saying, uh oh, we're in a new spot. I don't want the leaves to have to be shocky too. So I'll just leave the pot setting where I dug it up for a couple of days. And I try to push it like back in a, a sheltered, shady area. And that's it. If I had to, I would probably like, if the sun was out real bright, I probably wouldn't be doing this. I'd wait until evening or, or do it early in the morning. But if I had to, and it was really, really hot, I would like hide it somewhere like in this same general area, but I would like hide it um, where it was growing so that I don't send the baby into shock. So it is possible in the Midwest to grow poppies. Um, you just have to find the right location in your yard and then be very diligent when you go to pulling your weeds because it does look a lot like, like a dandelion. I mean, a gardener knows the difference, but um, somebody who is helping you out may not notice that difference. You gotta keep a keen eye. 
and you got to take care of your babies. All right, that's it. I promise no more videos today. <laughs> Have a great night.